Meteorologist Seth Phillips tracking the possibility of rain. That's right, another chance for a few isolated pop-up showers or thunderstorms, but uh, overall just a typical summer pattern. It's been hot, it's been humid, it's been unseasonably warm for this time of the year, but it does happen. And it's certainly happening now. The unofficial start to summer, getting going with summer light weather. As far as what we have around us, a few showers and storms well to our west. Nothing in our area uh, that will change soon. But you see these big thunderstorm complexes, big lows sitting out in the plains and Texas that are trying to make their way towards us, but they're not going to be very successful. The jet stream pattern basically dipping in the west and then coming back up over the east, which is about the path that the storms do take because of all that high pressure that sits out in the southeast. Anything that tries to get close to us will either fizzle out, weaken and just go away or it will get directed around us. So while we do have our chance for rain and thunderstorms each afternoon, it is the pop up garden variety, not really much to talk about except for a heavy downpour, maybe a strong wind gust at times, small to moderate hail, but nothing big, nothing severe really expected. Uh, but you see those storms out to the west. Those are trying to get towards us. They're just not going to be very successful, at least not yet. There will be towards the end of the week a better chance for rain with the cold front and that one will finally cross us and do its job. But until then, it's a lot of rinse and repeat. So on the future track, we'll go ahead and put it into play. Could see a little bit more thunderstorm activities south of the two southern parkways. Some of those could put down some pretty heavy rain, uh, but otherwise isolated throughout the afternoon. Tomorrow, same exact thing, waiting for the cumulus to build from the heat of the day. And then by Wednesday, a little bit of a trough trying to get close to us, so that may bring a little bit more uh, scattered to widespread shower activity, but it's not going to be much. And really over the next several days, other than those southern storms, I mean, you're really not going to put down much rain at all. Uh, collectively, right under the storm, obviously there will be quite a bit of rain to come down. Temperatures in the mid 60s all the way to the mid 80s for today. Uh, as the heat gets going, the thunderstorms will get going as well. But then overnight tonight we lose the heat, we lose the storms. So we're down to a 10% for the rain chance. Partly cloudy, mild, pretty decent for the overnight and in every single day going forward with small changes, mid, mid 80s down to the low 80s, mid 60s hanging around, but really no big change yet until we get towards the end of the week and the weekend. And you see that cold front finally making temperatures down to where we should typically be this time of the year, which is around 77 degrees. So uh, yeah, you see the cool down. But more importantly than the cool down is the dry up. We're taking that saturated air mass that sits over us and uh, continues to bring in those showers and storms, but that goes away. So as the cold front slides through, it's cooler, it's drier, but it's not cold. So we'll be in the mid 70s. That's going to feel great, but it's also going to be very, very comfortable with that dew point temperature dropping back down to the 50s. So day in and day out all the way throughout the week, expect uh, daily rain chances. Small to moderate hail possible with some of those storms, but really it's the heavy downpours and a few strong wind gusts. Hot afternoons, humid at times. Very comfortable though for the weekend upcoming with plenty of sunshine by Sunday.